Hello, welcome to Baking Basics. Today I'm going to show you how to make classic shortbread. You're going to need flour and polenta, salted butter and white castor sugar. First of all, tip your flour and polenta into a bowl and just rub between the tips of your fingers until the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs. So after about five minutes when it resembles breadcrumbs, just tip in your sugar and give it a gentle mix through. At this point you could add additional flavours if you wanted to, perhaps something like some lemon zest, some orange zest or even some rosemary or lavender, whatever you fancy. I like a classic so I'm just going to keep it plain. I've got a lined 9 inch tin here, it's base lined and side lined. Tip it into the tin, just give it a shake. I'm just going to use my hands just to press it down. So that's all nice and flat. Take a fork and just pierce the biscuit. So that's all ready to go in the oven, 160 for about 30 minutes until it's cooked through and lightly golden. Okay, my shortbread is cooked, I hope. So that's lovely and golden. Just take a little extra white caster sugar and just give it a nice dusting over the top while it's still hot. So now I'm gonna turn it out onto a white rack. Try and be quite confident when you turn it out. Um, if it cracks, it's not the end of the world. You, you know, it's gonna be eaten at the end of the day. Just try and be very confident and just do one swift movement. This is where I don't do a swift movement. There we go. Lovely. That looks perfect. Wow. So I'm just gonna turn it back over the right way. So another rack and then just flip around. That looks fantastic. There we go. So I'm just going to cut it into little triangles. There we go. Oh, it's too, too good to resist. I'm just going to try a little bit while it's still warm. Mm, so crumbly and delicious. Speaking with my mouthful again, everything you need to make that shortbread is just down there. I hope you enjoy making it. Don't f*** it up, and I'll see you soon for more baking basics. Mm. Oh, you've got to try this, Dan, Lola. It's like being in the Highlands of Scotland.